Hey, Jeff Kelderman here, Kelderman Air Suspensions. Today in this short video, we're gonna go over the placement of our Airlift 3H system, along with the two tanks that we provide with our air management system. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna locate our mounting brackets. So there's two L-shaped brackets that come with the kit. So the first bracket, you're gonna maser over from the frame, and it's gonna go five and three quarters away from the edge of the frame. The next one is going to go over, and it is 16 and a half inches. So five and three quarters from the inside of the frame on the on the passenger's side, closest one, and then you come over to 16 and a half. So the other place you, 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 for location is you look here. This is straight up and down, is with this square tube. So we come over five and three quarters, and run this pretty much flush. The next one's going to come over is going to be 16 and a half. So that's going to tell you your location of where to make your mounting brackets for the box. Now that we've got our mounting brackets for the box mounted, we're going to mount our two air tanks. So the front one, we have a couple little tabs you're going to weld on the front side of this little cross member they have on the spare tire area. So it's real simple. On the lift kits, we come over from the, about eight inches from driver's side frame rail over to where we're going to mount this little, little uh, mounting tab. Now, on stock heights, you might have to crowd it a little bit toward the passenger side because on stock heights, you still use this bracket to put shocks on. The lift kits, we go external mounted shocks, so we don't need this much space. So we're crowding this over a little bit more. So pretty easy. We're just coming over eight inches and it's about 21 and an eighth to here. Now, we're doing on this little tab, we're coming up inch and five eighths. So we're coming up an inch and five eighths here. That's a good measurement. It's not going to hit on the bottom of the box. You get too much closer, it will hit on the box. We don't want to go too much lower where it's going to hit on the air dryer on the front side of the box. So there you have it. That's where you're going to mount the front air tank. All right, so right now we've got our box mounted and we've got our front air tank mounted. Now we're going to mount our second air tank. Your kit is going to come with this mounting bracket that is going to get welded to the bottom of these cross members. So what we have done here is if you measure over from the passenger side frame rail over four inches, that's gonna to be to the edge. Now, if you look up here, we have, it, this is curved on the front side. So we have this mounted straight and then the curves going toward the front here. So we're bringing this inch and a quarter from the edge of the front. So inch and a quarter from the front to here, four inches over, that's where you're gonna mount this tank bracket. You just need to grind off some of your powder coat, make sure you got um, just same thing with your mounts, all these mounts, you're going to need to grind the paint off of both the area on the chassis where you're going to weld it to and our brackets. Once you get done, just touch it up with some little bit of undercoating or a uh, little bit of spray paint. So that's a quick view of how we do all of our Ford uh, 3H control systems.